Absolutely is a complete game changer. So our AI capability sits on top of our entire platform. And so in the meeting context, for example, if you come in late and say 10 minutes late to a meeting, or even if you, you know, zone out in the middle of a meeting, instead of interrupting the flow and sort of not being able to contribute to the meeting, you can ask our meeting, our AI companion to quickly catch you up. And it will provide you a summary of what you've missed or what you've, you know, what you need to know. The other thing is it can provide meeting summaries after the meeting is done. It can take notes for you. When the meeting summary is generated, it can provide an opportunity for the host to edit and then send to the participants as, as they see fit. The other thing we're doing is we're embedding sort of compose features in our email and our chat. Um, so for example, if you get colleagues sending you multiple chats in a chat channel for you know overnight and you wake up and you have 50 messages, it will summarize for you what you know the conversation has been like and might even suggest which, how you should respond. Obviously, you as the human being can intercept and decide how you actually want to respond, but it takes some of that work off your plate. And our goal is to provide as much productivity and efficiency to our customers customers, employee bases across the globe so that we can provide more value added for services for them and not increase their cost and do it at no additional cost. And that's why we think it's a complete game changer. So what's the current traffic on Zoom and what are you hoping to achieve with the introduction of AI? So we've had significant traction since September, since this new feature was launched. We have about 220,000 enterprises and small and medium sized businesses using the feature actively. Um, they have generated over 5 million meeting summaries and we get continue to get feedback that the product is continuing to improve. Um, it's great results for us and we want to continue making it better and better. How about the uh, education sector? We know that uh, Zoom was the enabler during the uh, pandemic. Do you still have a lot of uh, educational uh, institutions using the platform? Absolutely. So, you know, universities um, and higher ed was one of our first sectors that we targeted when we first were conceived as a company. And we continue to view universities as very, very important. And in addition, broadly, the education vertical is extremely important to us. Um, you know, we have used Zoom, educational institutions all over the world use Zoom to deploy education in a variety of different ways, whether it's through, you know, when you're, when Folks are sick and they go home, they can still participate in class. We have university students who maybe are single mothers, et cetera, can't join the particular class in the evening. They're able to join in a hybrid capacity. We've improved our hybrid offering so that even kids or students in the classroom, you know, in person can have a very similar experience to kids that are also coming in through remote, um, remote vehicles. And the experience can be the same. And that's the, one of the beauties of Zoom. As we innovate, we create more opportunities for hybrid learning, for exclusive remote learning, and for also for in-person learning. What's the number of uh, educational institutions using that platform? Well, I will say that about 46 out of the 50 top universities in the world are deployed over Zoom and actively use Zoom today, whether that's, you know, enabling cross-country cross lines and enabling students from other countries to join their institutions. Um, we also have in the United States about 25 of our largest school districts ac actively deploying Zoom as well. Across the globe, you know, after the pandemic, of course, not every child is online every day, but Zoom is a great supporter and an alternative platform to come in when there there needs to be that alternative platform, whether it's you know school days, snow days, the sick days, or even it's you know remote learning um, as provide for augmenting learning, whether it's tutoring or piano classes, etc. So I would say we continue to have education as one of our key opportunities for growth.